Hi there. My name is Alexandra Burdick, and I think that my favorite thing about being an artist is that every day I'm given the opportunity to help shape the view that other people have on the world that we live in. I want people to be able to leave a performance and have an opinion on what they just saw. I want them to be able to take a piece of what they have seen and take it with them and think about it for a couple days or hours or weeks, what have you. Just be able to take it and think about it and form an opinion. And it doesn't have to be a good opinion or the right opinion. I love when people leave the theater angry or scared or confused because that means that the piece affected them in some way. And I think that that will always be my favorite part of being an artist is being able to let people explore those emotions and be affected by something greater than themselves. And other than that, I just want to thank you so much for your time and consideration. I'm so I want to break up. Whoa. Oh, uh, okay. The other night when I said I needed some time to think, that wasn't true. I want to break up. I'm sorry, I know the timing is shitty. I was gonna do it no matter what when you finish the bike trip. It's not, it's not about you going AWOL this summer, even though I'm really fucking pissed about that. So you, you plan on this for a while? Yeah. Yes. That's why you backed out of the bike trip. Um, no, I backed out of the bike trip because I, I didn't back out of the bike trip. I was never definitely coming on the bike trip. Uh, okay, I remember it differently, but it doesn't really matter now, so. You knew I was applying for internships. You knew that. Yeah, and I knew you were buying gear and training and like telling me you loved me and it was important we got to spend this time together before you left for school, that's all. Well, when Allie backed out- Allie kind tore of her ACL, dude. That's totally different. Uh, fine, but it wasn't gonna be the trip that we planned. It wasn't going to be the four of us. But you admit that we planned a trip. You planned to come with us. That's the plan. But I guess you're already planning to break up with me. You just didn't let me in on that. I'm sorry I didn't come on the bike trip. Okay? Oh, it was good. It was amazing, actually, to have that time with Micah. So, I wouldn't trade that for anything. Well, good. I mean, it would have been nice to have you there when he was killed. It would have been nice not to be alone for that. Yeah, and it would have been nice if you'd shown up at the funeral. I really needed you then. Do you know how hurtful that was and how humiliating that everybody was like, where the fuck is Leo? And I was like, I don't know. He hasn't even called me. But you're already planning to break up with me. What? I, I'm just... I'm trying to master the timeline, Beck. It's a little confusing. <laughs> You're laying this all on me, but we had problems. We never had the kind of relationship that Micah and Allison had. I think we should just face that. We do? I don't even know what that means. They were like actual grown-ups in love. Like really in love. I'm not saying we didn't love each no, other. No, you're saying I'm not a grown-up. I'm saying... Even my mom still talks about, like, what a mature and evenly balanced oh, kind of thing well, that they Alan have. Talks about Don't it. be an asshole. You know what I'm saying. They had this serenity I that we I actually thought it was the other way around. That we were the ones with the real deal because I thought about you basically all the time. When you weren't there and talked about you like some kind of pathetic, lovesick idiot. Whereas Mike had never thought about Allie at all. That's because he didn't have to. I think you have some very weird, very idealized picture of the relationship. Because it might interest you to know that he cheated on her, actually. Okay. Like, several times. With some extremely questionable specimens. It's not cheating if it's an open relationship. And it's really none of my business. I don't think it's cool to talk about him that way. I just think it's interesting that your idea of a perfect relationship involves your boyfriend getting a BJ from the 15-year-old girl whose uncle was the camera. My idea of the perfect relationship involves feeling like I don't have to justify myself all the fucking time to someone who claims that they love me, but really is just constantly disappointed in me. I am 
so tired of disappointing you, Leo. And fuck you for telling me that about my guy. I did not want to know that. <laughs>